Hello everyone and in this video we will learn about a tool called Willit. So let's get started. Okay, so I am here on my Kali desktop. There is a tool, uh, currently it's active and the name of the tool is Villain and it is used to generate a payload which can be used or embed in any of the file to use as a backdoor for Windows. So for your kind information, currently this backdoor is undetected by Windows security scan. I can show you that my security over here is all lit green and everything is working everything is up to date nothing has been hide nothing has been excluded everything working fine and still i'll generate a payload over here using the tool and over here i use the tool villain to generate a payload and uh, create a backdoor for windows so you can get control of the windows pc through this kali linux desktop first of all let's see that both of the machines are talking to each other so let's get the ip if config or uh, to be more precise ip attr where you can see my ip is 10.0.2.7 let's go to windows and over here it is ip config slash all and there you can see that my ip is 10.0.2.15 so it's uh, 10.0.2.15 and it's uh, 15 over here and 15 over on the windows and 15 on the windows so ping 10 dot zero dot two dot seven and i'll use minus t for continue ping so there you can see the reply from the ping and let's do the same on kali 10 dot zero dot two dot fifteen and there it is so both machine are talking to each other control c to break it and over here also control C to break it clear the screen okay so everything is up and running so let's go to Kali and I'll show you you need to head over to this URL I'll drop this URL in the description and this is the guy and you, you need you need to download the tool uh, by the name of villain click on this one is the coding go over to the code section and click on copy and come over to your terminal and type git clone and then the URL to paste the URL in the terminal you use control shift and V and there you go it will clone the URL to check you need to ls there you can see villain a directory so you need to go inside the villain directory so cd villain make sure that uh, linux is always kk sensitive ls again and there you can see that there is a requirement text file uh, which is uh, basically the villain tool itself is made up of uh, python so we need to install the requirements so use the command pip3 install minus r and type req then press tab and it will auto <coughs> complete and enter so this will install the required packages so now everything is installed now uh, all you need to do is that ls again and now if you can see uh, clearly that villain.py which is python file uh, is colored white so you need to make it uh, executable it is not executable right now you can check 
like ls minus al and there you can see that villain file is not executable it is write and read we need to make it as change mode it is called chmod is change mode and i will use plus x which is executable followed by villain dot py now again ls and there you can see that it is now colored green so that means that is it is executable in linux when you want to execute a file all you need to do is dot forward slash villain dot py so here is the tool the tool started and you can see the prompt over here now basically we need to create a session after the tool is executed at the prompt you need to type help this is the help within the tool only and if you want to see a specific help of the command we need to type help like for example if i want to generate a back uh, backdoor payload so i will use help generate and there you can see for windows uh, the command highlighted in uh, orange so let's execute that command generate os equals windows l host means local host equals to eth0 which is my ethernet over here so it will get the ip of the local host from the ethernet 0 and space and then ops if you get right so this is the whole command let's hit enter hit enter so this is the payload generated it's copied now all you need to do is you need to copy this payload into the windows terminal to the windows powershell uh, there is another way around this you need to copy this payload into an image file into a pdf file you can embed that and then you can send it along to the windows user whenever uh, the windows user execute that file the payload will be generated and the backdoor will be executed and then you will get the whole of the victim pc from the kali machine itself so over here i'm not embedding it itself because this is just for educational purpose what i will do is i will copy this payload and i'll paste it in windows uh, uh, powershell terminal and as soon as the payload execute on windows it will give you the access over here and let's check first so this payload is copied let's head over to windows and powershell run as administrator now paste using control shift v is the payload and hit enter go back to the kali machine over here you can see the back to session establish on 10.0.2.15 which is the windows machine so let's uh, see the shell session by sessions here you can see the active session with the windows desktop so now to get the control of the session what we will do is shell and session id then hit tab for auto complete and now i am physically inside the windows machine how you can check that hit ls for listing and there you can see the windows file even to pwd present written directory and there you can see the path of the windows system file don't get confused with this path and this path this is the path actual path which i am currently standing which is pwd present working directory and this is the path for the open shell session 
So let's create something on the Windows desktop within the Kali machine. So it will show that you can control Windows desktop or any other Windows file structure within from your Kali machine. You can delete, you can uh, uh, make a file, you can rename a file, whatever you want. You can delete easily. So let's get to desktop. And now if you can see that I am on root, which is C called. So let's check where you can see Windows uh, default directories, Windows username. And so let's get to the user, see the users and then LS. There you can see two users, directories to yourself, LS and desktop then ls so nothing on desktop you can see nothing is on desktop except this shortcut so let's create a directory over here nkdir by the name of test1 that has been created and here you can see the directory we created so you can control if you want to remove this you can easily remove but rmdir test one and now it's gone so this is basically the easiest method which is currently undetectable it's a backdoor which you can embed into any file any image, any PDF, any word document, send it along to your victim. And if if the victim execute, it will open a backdoor for you. You have you need to wait for the listening the connection from the Windows side. As soon as the backdoor opens, the connection established between your machine and the victim machine. You can also check with who am I command. It will show you the desktop and the user itself. And if you want to exit, you can exit easily. Now you are on the shell prompt, which you can see the session is still active. And to kill the session, you can simply use the command kill, followed by the session, tap for autocomplete, and there the session is terminated. Exit and back to the root. So this was a small video. Use this video only for the education purpose within your own authorized environment, within your own authorized network. Do not attend this onto any other network of which you are not authorized. If you like my video, click thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future videos. Thank you and bye-bye.